Hey, what's up, guys? MGH here. Welcome back to another episode of the Portsmouth Road to Glory. We've got some big games coming up in this episode. We lost our first game of the season in the last... No, our second game of the season, sorry. It's worse than I thought. Uh, we lost to Man City 2-0, and it wasn't too great. We've actually got a red card with Baumgartel as well, so a slightly weaker defence. And it's Crystal Palace away, so hopefully we'll get three points to kick off the episode. So Palace, as we would expect, have a pretty strong team. They've gone with Punchin, Balassi and Zaha. Okay, um, the striker Harnik, I don't think he'll be too dangerous. And their defence isn't as strong as it could be. There's no Scott Dan. It could be a slightly easier game because of that. You've seen my lineup. let's do this. Let's get on the break, come on. Flick it on. Yes, this is what we need to do. I see Gray making his run. Can he get there? It's up against Ward. He's pretty strong and quick. Oh, he's lost out though. Gray, go on. No, that was a good chance. Over the top maybe. That's a good ball. Go on, McNerney. Get there. He's made it. Ball in. Oh, it's good. No, Maximin. No, Gray. Oh, wow. Really? Right, we have a corner. Swung in by McNerney. And Riley somehow hasn't even got that header on target. I mean, come on, man. Six foot six. You've got all the time in the world. All the space in the world. And he couldn't even get on target. Wow. Here goes Gray. I'm going to cut back here. Inside to Loftus-Cheek. I'm going to hit this. Go on, son. Oh, it's come off the bar. Inside to Loftus-Cheek. Power run. Power run. Don't stop. Don't slow down. Hit it. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was absolutely shocking. Guys, only two minutes to go until half time, And I don't think Palace have really had a single chance. We're, we're dominating this game. It happens every time. Every time I say that we're dominating a game, all of a sudden... We turn into absolute poop. Look at this. I can't touch the ball. Fia Mosey, what a save. Again, he's keeping us in the game. What are you doing, Eorfa? It is a simple first touch. Why, man? Right, okay. A corner it is then. If they score from this, that is bollocks, mate. Get it out, Riley. Yes, well played, son. Here's Balassi, though. Oh, my God. I'm speechless, guys. We dominated that first half, and now we're 1-0 down. Look how much space he's got. I literally ran away from him. What? Look at that. With Vegas, I completely ran away from him, giving him all the time he needs to slot that into the corner. Ridiculous, man. We've got 22 minutes now to get an equaliser. We can get back in this game. All we need to do is play like we did in the first half. Here's Rene Adelaide. Lovely bit of skill. Look at that. All the time now to get the cross in. Oh, it was so close. It's out here to Loftus-Cheek. Finesse it. Go on. Yes! Straight away back in the game, guys, and it's the captain Loftus Cheek. What a finesse shot. This is a beautiful finish. Look at that. How has the defender not blocked that, though? It's right at him. It's like he's moved out of the way. Look at that. The keeper had no chance, though, and there you go. Right, we've got a little bit of time now to get the winner, possibly. We can do this. We're going to make a double change with the last few minutes of the game remaining. It's going to be Dembele and Ferreira coming on. Yes, for Shagley. Well won. Yes, here we go. This is it now. Ferreira. Up here to Dembele. No freaking way. He's through. Come on, Dembele. You can, go, you can do this. Come on. Yes! Get in there! He has just come on and he has won us the game. And what a goal this is. He just slots it past the keeper. 90th minute goal. Dembele will start the next game, man. That's his first for the club as well. Ferreira and Musa Dembele getting us the goal in the last three minutes. Just unbelievable. Time for some training now. Let's see if we get any growth. We do, and it's Dembele, the man of the moment. Up to 73 rated already. That's fantastic to see. So I told you guys we had some big games in this episode, and here is one. We've got Arsenal at home. The first time we're playing against my beloved Arsenal in the series. It's in the Capital One Cup. Now, I'm going to be honest, I don't really care about the Capital One Cup, and I know for a fact that they're going to put up a weak team. I mean, look at that. You can see Toral, Sonogo. I, I completely forgot that Sonogo even plays for Arsenal. Obviously, he's on loan to Ajax in real life. Um, but we've put up a slightly weaker team as well. You can see here, it's not my strongest team by any me uh, by any means. We've got Anissiwu, Dembele, Bailey, Houston, Deba. Loftus-Cheek stays. He's been so good for me. And we've got a bit of a makeshift defence as well. Now, Arsenal's team, Martinez, Arietta. I mean, they've got some really weird names, some regens by the looks of it. They have got Ramsey. Okay, it's an interesting team. Gibbs plays and Martinez in goal. Really, guys, I think we may actually be able to get a result here. Baumgartel is back after his suspension. Let's see if he can play a ball up here. He can. Into Deba. Through ball now for Loftus-Cheek. He's managed to get there. Look at that. He's muscled through. Ball in. Go on. Head it. Oh, my God. That was an interesting way of trying to make contact with the ball. We have a corner. We're going to get the ball delivered in from Bailey. 
Oh my god! How has that not gone in? I'm not going to lie, guys, but Arsenal have been very, very disappointing. A terrible start to the game. They've been under pressure. I mean, look at that. Such a simple tackle, and we're through again now. Yes, go on, Houston. Heavy touch. Keep us off his line a little bit, so I'm going to finesse early. No. It's so close. It's just gone wide. Here goes Rose. The scoop of dreams. He's got five-star skills, remember. Look at him go. Oh, Gibbs had to make a tackle, didn't he? We've got it back. How's that not a foul? Holy shit, what a save. Firstly... How is that not a foul? I completely took him out. But how has Martinez saved that? And now the corner comes in. We almost scored the first one. And we have scored the second one. It's Houston in the air. Oh, wow. Arsenal are getting absolutely wrecked. And there is half time, guys. It's been a very, very fun first half for me. But as an Arsenal fan, it's pretty disappointing to see your team in the game be so, so shit. Excuse the language. But there you go. We're 1-0 up. Well, this second half has definitely been a little bit tougher. I think Arsenal have woken up a little bit, but here's Loftus-Cheek. We're going to go down through this bit of space. Keep going. Gabriel's fricked up the tackle. Pass goes in. Houston makes it 2-0. And there you go. I think that's my new favourite word, frick. Instead of saying the real F word, I just say fricked. Uh, but there you go. Oh, Alexis Sanchez has come on. I haven't even seen him. Honestly, that's how bad Arsenal have been. One of their best players can't even perform well today. And that is such a simple but sweaty goal. And Houston... He's definitely making a, a bit of a bit of a statement today. You know, I haven't played him as much recently. Maybe I should. He, he scored two goals today. Very good. Will Arsenal get back into this game, though? That's the question. Here's Alexis. And there's Sonogo. Oh, OK. Not bad at all. Maybe his loan at Ajax did some good. There we go. Honestly, that referee took his time. But we've beaten Arsenal. We've beaten them 2-0 as well. I mean, as soon as I saw their lineup, I thought, I've got a chance today. It was pretty pathetic. So we have a game against the newly promoted side Hull. They came up with us. I think we're going to get a win here. So we're going to simulate it. We get a 2-1 win. Gray and Bailey gets a goal there. Well done, Bailey. We can do a little bit more training now. Let's see if we get more growth. Unfortunately not. Maximin, though, has gone up in all three of those stats. So he is getting closer to 79. And now, guys, going into our next game, we've got Watford away from home. They're actually a very impressive side in real life. They've got some great individual talents. It's going to be a difficult game, but of course we want to win, and this is the team that's standing in the way. Dini and Igalo, a very dangerous duo up top. They've got Neom at right back. I love that guy. He is seriously one of my favourite right backs in the game this year. It's a good team. It's not bad, but is it as good as ours? Because of course my team is pretty much all 75 rated plus. We have, I would say, top 10 squad. I, I really do think that, guys. We should be in the top 10 of the Premier League for the rest of this season. It's my strongest team possible. Let's get into the game. I've really got to watch out, though. Dini and Igalo up front is dangerous, and we're in trouble already here. Have I spoke too soon today? Igalo here on the ball. What's he going to do with that? He's going around me like I'm not even there. Oh, no. The shot's going to come in, and it's gone over the bar, thankfully. Here goes Gray. We're going to find Bailey. He hasn't been great for me this season, but let's see if he can play better today. Get the ball over the top. Go on! Oh, no one could get there in time. That was a very nice cross from Bailey. Just maybe hit it a bit too hard. Is he Garlo? Don't let him shoot. Don't let him shoot. No, no. Ooh, just gone wide there. Don't blow the whistle. No, ref. No, we were on the attack there. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. It's nil-nil right now. Both teams having good chances, but to be honest, Watford are on top. Here's the Ginger Beast. Knock it inside to Loftus-Cheek. Little one-two maybe. No, we're going to turn it. Yes. Come on, Maximin. Roberto, what a save that is. Right in the bottom right corner there. Flick it on. Oh, it's beautiful. Eorfa for his first goal. No. Gray now. He's flicked it. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to try and lob the keeper. I was switching player. Here come Watford again. That's a good cross. No. No, 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 no. You've got to be kidding me. That is just... It's just a goal mouth scramble and they've managed to put it in the back of the net and Dini deserves it. I mean, he's had a good game. Look at this. I mean, just just about gets it in. Fiamosi gets his arm on it but puts it in the back of his own net. They just know they've got me right now by the balls. If they just keep the ball, I can't get a point. Look, they're going to the corner at home. Come off it. It's so stupid, man. Right, we've got a chance here. Up here to the ginger beast. Come on, Riley. Someone get in the box. No one's getting in the box. Right, try now. What a ball. No. No, that was perfect. I cannot believe it. Shit. 
So we're going to finish up with some training. We've got Gomez in instead. We've got actually a few players out on international duty. Dembele's gone up by all three stats there. So he's halfway to 74. Bailey's almost 76. And as you can see there, looking at the table, after eight games, we've got five wins, three losses. We've scored eight, conceded seven, giving us only a goal difference of one. It's not too good, that. But 15 points from eight games for a newly promoted side is, I would say, very, very good. No draws, though. That's a little bit worrying because we're on the edge of either winning or losing. We need to be able to draw a couple of games and fight for points even when we're not playing so well. But that's OK. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you have enjoyed it, please do smash a like rating and make sure you subscribe if you're new around here. Check out the official store to get yourself some MGH gear and I will see you in the next episode soon.